Hi guys! Today we have the new Manta M4P and CB1 boards from Big Tree Tech. These were designed specially to be used with Clipper firmware. You want to know more? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, with the Clipper firmware getting more and more fans, Big Tree Tech launched a few solutions to the market designed for it. One of them is the Pi 4B which is a board similar with the Raspberry Pi and the Manta M4P and M8P boards. The Manta M4P and M8P boards are a complete solution since they replace the printer's stock board and allows the attachment of a Raspberry module directly on the board. The fact that you have the module directly attached on the main board instead of using an external Raspberry Pi board makes the installation much simpler and cleaner since you don't have to bother with USB cables and extra power connections. Inside the box of the Manta M4P we can find the traditional rubber duck, a bag with accessories, a small card and the board. Inside the bag of accessories we have several connectors. These can be used if the printer where we will install the board has different connector types. Also included are the matching pins and several jumpers. Big Tree Tech also has their own module called CB1. Inside the box we can find also a rubber duck, the Wi-Fi antenna and the module. These small modules have the same form factor as the Raspberry CM4 modules including the port-to-port -port connectors at the back and have a memory size of 1 GB. In this video, we will check the M4P board in more detail. The Manta M4P board is smaller than the M8P and it measures 160 by 95 mm. It's equipped with an STM32G0B0 32-bit 64 MHz microcontroller. This microcontroller comes with a bootloader pre-installed for firmware upgrade using an SD card or through DFU with Clipper's flash command. As we mentioned, the board has a couple of board-to-board -board connectors for the Raspberry Pi modules. The board is compatible with any of the Raspberry CM4 modules and also with the CB1 module from Big Tree Tag. The orientation of the CB1 module is with the Wi-Fi module facing the left side. It's possible to secure the module with four screws, but it looks very well secured with just the connectors. For the Wi-Fi to work properly, the Wi-Fi antenna needs to be installed as well. Next to the module is a 40-pin header. The pinout is a bit different if using a Raspberry CM4 module or the CB1 from Big Tree Tech. The Manta M4P allows the installation of four stepper drivers while having a dual output for the Z-axis. It accepts many different stepper drivers, so depending on the driver and driver mode, we need to set the jumpers accordingly. For drivers with normal modes such as Allegro A4988 or DRV8825s for example, the jumpers need to be set here and following the driver's configuration table. For TMC drivers and for UART mode, the jumpers need to be set like this. And for SPI mode, the jumpers need to be set like this. When installing the drivers, make sure they are installed with the correct orientation. If you decide to use the sensorless homing feature from the drivers, you need to place a jumper here for the corresponding driver. If end stops are used instead, they need to be connected here. A filament runout sensor can be connected here. It's also possible to set the stepper driver voltage through these jumpers here. If the jumper is installed at the left, 
the driver output voltage will be the same as the voltage used in the motor power connector. If the jumper is installed at the right, the driver output voltage will be the same as the voltage used in the main power connector. The motor power connector is located here, and you can use it if you have high voltage stepper drivers. And the main power connector is located here. Next to these are two more screw type connectors. One is the bed heater output and the other is the hot end heater output. The board is also equipped with three fuses. One 20 amp fuse here and a couple of 10 amp fuses here. For the hot end thermistor and the bed thermistor, they need to be connected here. As for cooling fan connections, this board has four connectors with voltage selection and one with fixed voltage. It's possible to choose the voltage of these outputs between 5 volts and the main board power voltage using this jumper. These are all PWM controlled, however, these two share the same pin. If the jumper is installed this way, all four fan connectors will output 5 volts. However, if the jumper is installed this way, all four fan connectors will output the same voltage as the main board voltage. The remaining two-pin connector is to connect a cooling fan for the module. There's a connector for BL Touch leveling sensor right here. And this is the wiring sequence for the sensor. The board has two dedicated outputs for RGB lights here. The voltage pins are the top ones, the middle ones are the data pins, and the bottom pins are the ground. As for the display outputs, the board has the traditional EXP connectors right here. And for the modules, it has a DSI and CSI connectors. Here we can connect a Raspberry camera and display. It also has a couple of SPI connectors where it's possible to connect an SPI display. At the bottom side, it's the HDMI connector. And here we can connect any monitor with HDMI connection, three USB ports, one USB Type-C connector here and a couple of USB Type-A connectors here. At the side is the Ethernet connector. There is one more USB connector here near the module. Since we have a couple of boards, we need to install a couple of firmwares. One for the main board and one for the module. And for the module, we need a micro SD card and install an operating system on it. This step will vary according if you have a Raspberry CM4 module or the CB1 module from Big Tree Tech. For the Raspberry CM4 module, you need to download Fluid, Main Cell, or the Raspberry Pi official image. For the Big Tree Tech CB1 module, you need to download the image from Big Tree Tech stored on GitHub. For either case, you can use the Raspberry Pi Imager software to transfer the operating system to the micro SD card. In Operating System, select Use Custom and choose the Operating System image. Then in Storage, select your microSD card. In case you are using the Raspberry Pi image, don't forget to click on the gear at the corner and enable the SSH option, set a password and configure your wireless connection. Finally, click on Write. If you are using a Big Tree Tech module, you need to access the memory card and edit this file to configure the Wi-Fi. In there, you enter your SSID and Wi-Fi password, save the document and that's it. Remove the memory card and insert it in the board's micro SD card slot. Next, we connect the USB cable from the board to the computer. And we add this little jumper to power the board from the USB. At the end, don't forget to remove the jumper so that the board is powered from the main connector and not from the USB connector. When connecting the board, the red LED on the board and the green LED on the module will light up. Now you can install the Clipper firmware and once that is done, you flash the firmware on the board. Big Tree Tech has a nicely detailed document with the instructions on how to install Clipper and the board's firmware so we will add the link to it below in the video description. And that's it you guys, hope you liked this video, we will see you guys next time. Bye!